To solve for the pH and the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution containing a polyprotic acid, the key is to just focus on Ka1. It is Ka1, which is the stronger acidic part of the polyprotic acid that governs the pH of the solution. A quick way to solve for the hydronium concentration, so long as the 5% rule applies, is the square root of the concentration multiplied by the Ka value, again using Ka1 and we get 4.98 times 10 to the negative 2. It turns out that this is greater than 5% of the original 0 0.350, so we end up using the quadratic formula anyway, where Ka, 7.1 times 10 to the negative 3, is equal to the hydronium concentration squared divided by the concentration of the weak acid minus the hydronium concentration. Solving this quadratic gives us the hydronium concentration of 4.64 times 10 to the negative 2 molar, pH then is simply the negative log of this value, or 1.33. For the next one, again we'll use Ka1 of oxalic acid this time, and if we needed to use the qua uh, quadratic up here with this large of a Ka value, an even larger Ka value is going to guarantee that we need to use the quadratic. So we'll just start with a quadratic taking Ka, 5.4 times 10 to the negative 2, equal to the hydronium concentration squared divided by the con concentration of oxalic acid minus the hydronium concentration. Solving the quadratic gives us a hydronium concentration of 0.113 molar. We take the negative log of that to get our pH and we get 0.95.